What happens when more RAM is installed than the motherboard supports? I have a free RAM slot and some spare memory that will fit my computer. However the problem is my motherboard only supports 2GB and I have 2GB installed. What would happen if I plug the spare memory in the RAM slot? The following things spring to mind. Nothing will happen. It will work, computer becomes faster. Computer becomes slower. Explosion. Undetermined, any of the above. Does anyone have any experience of this? Update, egged on by you zealous lot, I went ahead and stuck the extra memory in. It booted up. Unfortunately, the hunch of some has been proved correct. The memory is reported at the capped limit, rather than the actual available. A shame then. But thank you all for your suggestions, speculations and stories. For your reference, I am using a Dell Inspiron 6000 with 2GB installed, latest drivers. I attempted to add 512 MB, with no success. Simple answer, it either will only see the max supported memory, or it will not work at all. My gut feeling says two things. If it does work, you just will not see the extra memory, only the max the motherboard slash chipset supports. If it doesn't work, it usually will just beep at you with a memory error and you will get no video response. All depends on the motherboard depending on how it handles memory errors. Someone on Yahoo Answers says an interesting bit about getting a blue screen due to this. In my experience, putting in more than the max amount of RAM as specified by the manufacturer will cause the computer to not boot up. Others claim. Some won't post, some will and simply be sod, kernel panic, etc with pfn underscore list underscore corrupt. That said, the max memory isn't always the actual max. Case in point, Intel states the GL960 chipset, such as in my laptop, supports a max of 2GB of memory. 4GB is a no-go, but 3GB works. Your first stop is the mainboard manufacturer's website. Update the BIOS to the latest version. Then fit the additional memory and turn on the computer. If the memory is detected, run Mantis 86 plus. No, it won't explode. Smile. Depends on the board and BIOS. I have a Sony Bio VGN FA770G that uses the GM945 chipset, Intel, Sony, and crucial say that the maximum amount of RAM is 2 GBS of DDR2, 1 GB per SIDM slot, but I'm running Windows 7x86 with 3 GBS in both the BIOS and Windows report, and presumably map, all 3072 MBS. I'm going to try with a second 2GB DDR2 SIDEM and see if the BIOS and a 64-bit LIVICT OS sees 4096 MBS. Been there, done this. The BIOS complained about the RAM and refused to start up. I had to downgrade again. But this was an old Pentium 133 from Dell and about 4 PCs in the past. In general, it will depend on the BIOS and hardware. It won't be able to handle the big modules but if there are still smaller modules available, the system might decide to just start up with the memory of just the smaller modules. But in general, the BIOS won't be able to use it thus your system would have no free RAM to use. Je vous rends tous ces pauvres
Kirpan si Gapsip Sibing.